Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. We have 2b to the power of 3 plus 2b equals 20. Okay, because we have 2b here and 2b here, somebody might want to, you know, um, add both of them, but that would be wrong. So what do you do? Reduce this equation to a simpler term. So we divide this by 2, divide by 2, divide this by 2. So that this can go with this, this will go with this, and we'll now have b to the power of 3, plus this will go, and we have b, this is equal to 20 divided by 2, and it is 10. Okay, so from here, what should we do? Now, you might be tempted to factor out B from here, but that will not give you a right answer. So what do we do? We are going to bring this to the left. So we have B to the power of 3 plus B, then minus 10 equals 0. And then from here, we have b to the power of 3 plus b minus open bracket 8 plus 2. This is giving us 0. Now, I had something in mind before doing this. Because b is to the power of 3, I needed to have 8 because I can express it to the power of 3. Okay? And then this will work with this. The next thing is to open the bracket. So we have b to the power of 3 plus b minus 8. Then we have minus 2 equal to 0. What I have done is making sure that the negative opens the bracket. So negative times 8 is negative 8. Negative times plus 2 will give us negative 2. Now, this is the same as b to the power of 3 plus b minus 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 equals 0 and from here i need to regroup right okay so i need to regroup okay i need to regroup so that i will have b to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 then this is coming which is plus b then i have minus 2 this is now equal to 0. So I'm going to factorize this first. b minus 2. b to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3. I will factorize this. Then I will factorize b minus 2. Even though I don't have much to do on this side. So this is equal to 0. Now, do you remember the standard that a... Um, okay, let me use x x to the power of 3 minus y to the power of 3. This is the same as x minus y into x squared plus xy plus y squared. Okay, so these are the same thing. And now, because of this, I will express this standard in this form. I will express this expression in this form. Okay, so that in place of x minus y, I have b minus 2 into x squared will now be b squared minus, okay, it's plus, xy becomes 2 times b, and that is 2b, then plus b squared, which will now be 2 squared. Close this, then plus open bracket b minus 2, and this is equal to 0. Now, this is simple because we can now factor out b minus 2 as the common factor. Then, in here, I'll have um, b squared plus 2b plus 4. Because 2 squared is 4, right? Let's have this here. Then, plus, here now, the whole of this has come out, but there will be 1 over there. Because b minus 2 divided by b minus 2 is 1. Then close this and equate this to 0. b minus 2 is still the common factor. 
then we have b squared plus 2b plus 4 minus 1 and um, 4 plus 1 is 5 then we lock this and equate this to 0 now we know what to do we're going to say that either this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0 right so b minus 2 now is equal to 0 meaning that b is equal to 0 plus 2 and our b is and our b is equal to 2 now the next thing is for me to go straight to this quadratic expression now we'll equate this to 0 so we have b squared plus 2b plus 5 equals 0 let's get going okay so from here we have a quadratic equation and how do we deal with this remember this quadratic formula that x is equal to b okay minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a now this is going to be a bit difficult for us knowing that what we are looking for is b and we also have b in the formula right so i'm going to turn this to b prime let me turn this to b prime so we are looking for b prime now right so in place of x now i'll write my b prime and it will be equal to minus b minus b is going to be 2 so i'll write minus 2 over there because b is 2 so minus b is minus 2 plus or minus we have b squared which will now be um 2 squared then plus is it plus or minus we have minus right so we have minus 4 multiply by a our a is 1 okay then multiply by by c and our c is 5 so the whole of this will be over 2 times 1 remember this is addition and subtraction now we have b prime which will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus we have square root of 4 minus 20 and the whole of this is over 2 times 1 which is 2 okay to continue with this we have b prime which is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of negative 16 and this is over 2 now our b prime is simply equal to minus 2 plus or minus now square root of negative 16 here is the same as square root of 16 multiplied by square root of negative 1 this is over 2 this way we'll be able to find the square root of 16 and then square root of negative 1 is imaginary so our b prime is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of um, 16 is 4 then square root of negative 1 is imaginary so we multiply it by the 4 to get 4i and the whole of this is over 2 then what can we say our b prime now will be minus 2 plus or minus 4 okay let me do it this way so this is going to be minus 2 over 2 plus or minus 4i over 2 okay these are the same thing right this and this are the same now this can go there so that b prime is equal to negative 1 plus or minus 2i because this can still go there two times now this is a 2 in 1 solution and our b prime is equal to minus 1 plus 2i or minus 1 minus 2i now let's bring the three solutions together remember this b prime is still the b in the equation right so our b let's call it b1 is equal to 2 our b2 is equal to minus 1 plus 2i and our b3 our b3 here is equal to minus 1 minus 2i so it is only the first solution that is real